important for us to remember now that all is not lost, that there is hope. We must have hope because as our founders put into our founding documents, we the people are the only ones who have the power to save our country. Or if we don't like the direction that our government is headed in, if we're sick and tired of the insanity of people trying to tell us with a straight face that a boy is a girl if he says he's a girl, people who are trying to tell us with a straight face as this administration has for years, the border is secure. The border is secure. The blatant lies that we are being told, that, that if you say something that the White House disagrees with, they can label that as misinformation, and unfortunately, according to the Supreme Court, they're allowed to do that. They're allowed to censor what they deem as misinformation. We are seeing these very real threats to the things that I can say for myself. Growing up, I never would have imagined that we would be debating free speech in America and whether or not it should exist. And pushing back against government entities directly and indirectly trying to take away that fundamental right of freedom. But that is where we are today. And that is one of many reasons why this election is the most important election of our lives.